good morning. Welcome to the dog man. Is this not the life, man? Is this not the life? Sitting out on the upper deck. It is very foggy this morning. You can't even see the forest. But I can hear them cicadas already firing up. And you're going to hear Waddles. Hey, Waddles. Waddles gets up early. He expects me to be out there with a scratch. Uh, and then they're in the habit of now. Now they're in the habit of having fresh clover every morning. Yes, chickens can get spoiled too. Uh, I don't sit out here enough. Uh, in the summer, you know, the sun rises right here. There it is, about right there. And it goes like this right over the deck. So it can get pretty, can get pretty hot up here. So if I can come up with some kind of a shade, that would be nice. But, you know, I'm busy. I ain't got much time to come up here and sit. And speaking of busy, uh, if you saw yesterday's video on this channel, you've seen my new plans to add an addition to the cabin, which would be right over there. I'm going to make a video today on the other channel, uh, not about that, but I will take the time to show you where I plan to put this and how I'm going to do it. Now, this is down the road, hopefully by this end of this summer we got something going but it it's going to have to be custom built and that's probably going to take at least probably eight weeks but in the meantime the dirt work needs to get done uh, this whole side over here and i've got a stump i got to get out of there got to get that leveled now a few people ask why don't i put it over on the other side where the dog yard is well number one it's the dog yard um uh, you know, they're going to be around some, a couple more years. I hope. I don't want to change, put any kind of a change like that on them. This, that's always been their yard. Well, that's one reason. The other reason is the sewer pipe runs right through there. I would have to put it off the dormer on that side, which is the bathroom and the pantry. Uh, and there's really no spot to put a door to go to it because you got the electric pole and all the electric right there the electric is buried underneath in that little alley and your sewer line and septic lines all run through there and i do not want to cover them up it would be nice yes because i could put another bathroom in there um, i cannot do that on that side over there i have a 10 foot thick concrete foundation on this cabin so you would have to bore or run your sewer lines all the way around the cabin to meet up with that septic tank. It's just not doable. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. So it has to go over there. It's just two bedrooms, maybe one large bedroom in a large living room area. That's it. Uh, 32 feet long, 16 wide, plenty, plenty of space. You know, that's, that's almost as big as this cabin. Um, I haven't, I don't think I've ever measured this. I do know it's 20, 20 by, I'm going to say 20 by 30. So it ain't much smaller. So it's going to more than double the size of the cabin. And that's going to be nice. Now, no, I do not sleep in a bed. That doesn't mean building two bedrooms is not smart. I mean, I, I may decide to sell the place. Well, a three bedroom home sells a lot better than a loft and a little pantry room that I have down there. Now that can be considered a bedroom, very small one, but it can be considered a bedroom. Uh, but I'm gonna build, uh, what did I figure? Probably 10 by 12 bedrooms in that. Cause I gotta have a little hallway, probably put them at the ends. It's all in the initial stages guys. So I don't know yet, but I am going to do this. And to me, that is the most efficient and financially the smartest way to do it. Because I'm basically having the whole addition built off-site. I don't have to mess with that. I don't have to mess with climbing ladders. Now, if I was 25, I'd probably build it right here on site. And I could still do that. But looking at the cost, I, I don't think I could touch that. Uh, if you count my labor, 
yeah I could probably do it uh, cheaper for material wise but counting labor and time you know it's it's just worth it to me to have it built off-site brought in bam they set it down I'm ready to put up sheetrock and start framing it's that simple and by this time next year it's finished so that will happen as far as a timeline I can't guarantee nothing like I said the dirt work has not even begun and before the dirt work even begun begins I have to bring in probably four big uh, trucks full of this three inch rock to put in the other driveway originally when this house was built there was a um, circle drive and it come around where Libby's old uh, kennel is um, when I do the video day I'll probably show you guys so basically you pull in the driveway and you just instead of going to the right you just go straight and then it comes all the way up here to the carport which is going to be better for that carport stays where it is kind of wish it wasn't there now but it's where it is and you know we can work around that so I'm just putting a leg out from the cabin we're going to match it up you know when I'm done hopefully you're not going to be able to tell that it was brought in and it's a manufactured building uh, I don't think I'd get away with that if this was a city <laughs> I know I wouldn't they got to be some code against that but you know, it, it would be no different if I built it, you know, with a wooden foundation instead of having a concrete foundation. Uh, now, that would cost a fortune to lay a foundation there and then build something. I'm not going to do it that way. Uh, so I can have that built. I'm going to have it built by Dirksen because they have good quality buildings. That building behind me is a Dirksen. Um, we are... I'm going to put all the extra stuff in there, the three quarter inch plywood for a floor. That is, that is, that's got to be a mandatory thing there. So it's, it's going to be built right. So enough on that. Uh, like I said, that's down the road. That gives me time to finish my kitchen, finish other things that I have going on around here. Uh, we're going to hit the nineties today. So we're starting to get in that part, you know, I don't think it's going to be a hot summer. I really don't. I think it's going to be a pretty mild summer. Uh, usually when we have a spring like this, you know, it means it's going to be mild. But, you know, a couple of years ago, it was already close to 100 this time. And we, it's cool right now. It's in probably 57 degrees out here. Yeah. So stay tuned. Uh, I'm just one man. I don't bring in people. I don't bring in other channels to do work parties and stuff like that. I do it myself. When you get into doing that, things don't get done the way you want them to get done. Uh, it's just when you organize something like that, things get rushed. And, and I don't want that. I've never been like that. I, I, I like to do everything on my own. If I need help, I ask for it. And probably with the drywall, sheetrock, whatever you call it. I'll probably get some help, hire some help for that, because I despise it. And I saw down the road, Anson's father-in-law, he's good at that. So, and he likes extra work. There we go. And I'll help him. You know, but I'm not going to have 50 people over here doing this, doing that. It does, things, things get messed up that way. And I'm anti-social, if you haven't noticed like my peace and quiet man all right guys i appreciate you watching but stay tuned those videos will be up on the other channel watch tall mountain living and occasionally there might be one or two that bump over on this channel but this is primarily a podcast channel talk channel whatever you want to call it and we're going and it's doing well that way so we're going to keep it that way and keep all the nonsense on the other channel Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Happy trails.